don't interested in Asia. You would say, I am not interested. Not, I don't interested. And then pronunciation-wise, uh, you said for, foreign or it's foreign, foreign country, foreign. Yeah, the G makes no sound there. I can see how that would be tricky if you are reading that. The G makes no sound at all. Foreign countries, foreign people. And you said, uh, you were talking about the volunteers and you said you didn't enter. Yeah. I would maybe use the word participate. Yeah, sounds better. You didn't participate in that volunteer program. Participate, yeah. It's usually the word that they use with volunteers. Yeah. Are you guys okay? Yeah. Uh, hey, Suk, at the beginning, I think you were talking about your vacation. You said, I'm just thinking over. Um, think over is an expression, but it's not used in that situation, really. Uh, to think over something... Consider. I'm just uh, considering where to go. I'm just thinking about, or I'm just thinking of, thinking about. To think over something, a lot of times think over is um, in the middle is an object like, let me think it over. I need to think it over. It's usually used with the word it, and that just means I need more time to think. Uh, I think pronunciation wise, you said changed. That's a very common one, just changed, not changed. Changed, changed, changed. Um, you kept, you said Miss University, it's Miss Universe, I just didn't understand. Miss Universe or Miss University? So Miss University is the official degree. So that one is called Miss University. Uh, okay, university. just checking. Uh, and then I was a little confused too, you didn't know the right word to say, we accommodate for about two weeks. Uh, Were you talking about yourself or the girls? So, together. Okay. In, in one hotel, we have to split. Yeah, I would. I would just say we stay together. We live together. Live together. Yes. Or stay together. Maybe not sleep together. That sounds a little bit strange. Uh, we stay together, or we live together for a couple of weeks. They accommodate us. They would be the program. They accommodate you. To accommodate someone means to give them. So when you used that word, I thought maybe you were just helping them find the hotel. No, you are staying together, living together. And you said entering to USA. You can just take out to. You enter the USA or go to. Heejin, I even don't have. Just change the order. I don't even have. I don't even know. I don't even want. Uh, you also said I... You said, I do have interest, and you would just say, I am interested. He said, I, same as him. I don't interested, I'm, I am not interested. I do have interest, grammatically yours was okay, but it's just not common to say it like that. I am interested in. It's much more common to say that than I have interest. And you said, really recommended me to go there. The word recommended is always tricky for a lot of uh, my students. I don't know if it's something to do with translation issues. It's common to say, they really recommended that I go there. You don't really recommend a person. He recommended this to me. He recommended that I go, that I do. So you can use it. He recommended that I plus verb, or he recommended blah 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 to me. And Dongun, uh, you said is organizing every year. I guess you were talking about your company is held every year. Maybe our event is held every year. Our event is held twice a year. You were talking about the park, you said it's really broad. Broad is just not a common word to use in that sense. Just, it's really big or huge. Big is just the easy one. Uh, you said men's, men. And not properly addressed to the outside, you were talking about North Korea. 
maybe not properly addressed by the other countries. To uh, you address something, it was addressed by that leader. By it was addressed by that country. Any questions?